Hey everybody, Cheryl Lawson here. Hey, thanks Deborah for uh, volunteering Doc J's Heat and Air for our first um, Facebook business page audit, if you will, um, for the Black Owned Tulsa group. And I'll also share this on Social Media Tulsa YouTube page so that other people might be able to learn uh, from, from this uh, assessment, right? So right off the bat, the name of your Facebook page is great. Um, the cover photo, profile photo looks really great. You have a call to action, which is uh, for people to call you, which is great. This can also be um, a website or an email sign up. So you might want to kind of play with which one gets you the most reaction or engagement. So I love the call now because you want people to pick up the phone. Um, so the first thing I like to do when looking at a Facebook business page is the cover photo and profile. We'll start with the cover photo because it's a great photo. It, your smiling faces are there and welcoming, but that's all I know about it. Who are you? Is that Doc J? Are you Doc J? Who are the doctors here? So the reason I say that is because there's no description of this photo. And you know when you go to... Uh, your photo, you, you'll you see because you're the um, admin on this page, you'll see an edit button. You always want to add a caption to your photos. Even if it's a short caption that says, you know, Doc J's heat and air ready for summer 2021, you know, give us a call or stop by our website to book an appointment today. There should be a description and at least a call to action uh, whether it's a website or a phone number or whatever you want people to do. Um, the other thing I noticed is that this photo was uploaded on December 4th, 2019. So this is something that just anybody who is on your page can see. So the thing about the Facebook algorithm is it's only going to show people who like your page, uh, your post, if they've interacted with your uh, with something on your page within the last 30 or 60 days. There's some bait with, debate whether it's 30 days or, or longer, but it's at least in the last month, let's say. So, um, but with the exception of your cover photo and your profile photo. So every time you change your cover photo and your profile photos, Facebook will show it to everybody who likes your page. So those folks who are already fans of yours, this is a great way to uh, stay in touch with them. Offer them, hey, here's a spring offer. You know, make sure it's springtime, it's summertime. Make sure to check this or have you booked your maintenance appointment. Uh, don't get caught in the cold. So think about changing your cover uh, photo as the cycles of your business are. And I'm assuming it's uh, with the seasons, but it could be something in addition to. So at least three or four times a year you want to change it, or you might even want to change it as you have different campaigns um, that relate to whatever specials that you're running. I wouldn't necessarily change it like daily or, or even a month, every month, but just think about how often and what the offer is, because you don't want people to, to see you change your cover photo and it's not something that they're interested in and they continue to ignore you. You want that cover photo to, to offer some engagement, right? So you have uh, two people who have commented on uh, this post from, 29, uh, from 2019. One was 42 weeks ago, the other one was, was three weeks ago. But you want it to have to be something that people can respond and engage with. So let's say it's the, you know, have you checked your filters this month? Or, you know, is it time to have your AC serviced or maintenance? That way people see it and they can either react to it or like do the call to action and pick up the phone and call you or come in and comment um, or tag somebody, you know, who's a friend or their office or in, you know, their roommate saying, hey, we need to get on this. Right? So you want it to be something that they will actually engage with. So um, I would I would say don't change it just to be changing it. Change it to in, to get something uh, out of it, to get people uh, interested and engaged in the cover photo. So that's cover photo right there. So first uh, assignment for you is 
update your cover photo. And it could be the same photo. Maybe you uh, add a header or, you know, you've got some photos that have some text on it, um, you know, or just in your planning as you're scheduling out your year of promotions and offers, make sure that you are creating graphics that will serve as cover images throughout your seasonal promotions. That's why I like to look at it. It's promotional. It can be a video as well. You can create a slideshow as your uh, cover image that has multiple images in it. But just make sure that you're thinking about changing it once a year, once a quarter, once a season, however, and then plan that out. All right, get out of there, Cheryl. All right, so profile photo is your logo, which is great. Um, I would also, this was also uploaded on December 4th, 2019 with no description. So this is where I would include something about the business, right? Your, you know, who you are, what you do, how to reach out, what you specialize in. Um, and then even if it's just the logo that you've had for, for some time, I would think about maybe, you know, have one that has the website on it, has have a logo that has your phone number on it so that if somebody clicks on it, they get some more information. So think about changing your uh, profile image, but maybe add a little bit more to this photo so that people can, um, so that they'll get something else from it. You can change the cover photo one month or one quarter and the profile photo the next quarter. And just a reminder, maybe at the at the bottom of this, it's like reminder to book, you know, here's your friendly reminder to book your summer maintenance uh, appointment. And then definitely add a caption here and a call to action there, right? Even if you don't change your profile photo often, you definitely want to have a caption and a call to action, right? So we've got our call to action on our page. Um, and you can set these up. There's another place where if you want to do, if people have questions and want to send you a message, let's see if you have any of those set up now. Yeah. So I would maybe even ask some of these, you know, type in some of these questions and turn that on and I'll show you. Um, how to do that in your actually in your settings you can go to messages and click on the auto reply and set up some auto replies it's pretty easy to do um, and i can show you how to do that love the post you're tagging uh doc j's heat and air you might even in this instance where you've shared i'm just looking at this post i'm kind of going off but um you might even tag ktul right so that they also know that you've shared their story, right? So make sure, because we're all kind of creatures of um, self-importance. So if you're referring to someone else or talking about something else, someone else or sharing something that someone else has posted, make sure you tag them as well. Your uh, street address, the about section is really good. Um, and that you have your uh, license number here is very important. I would also maybe think about including this information with your profile photo. Okay. 290 people like the page, including 14 of my friends, which this is good. My friends love you. Uh, okay, three people have checked in. Typically replies within a day, that's fine. Um, if you, you know, for Facebook purposes, if you want that um, to increase, then, you know, you can set up little alerts on your phone to reply to messages quicker, but you have your phone number and your email. And if there is a way to, a best way to contact you, like your phone number, I would put that in as many places as possible, right? Call. Email is fine as well. Your services are there. Um, Facebook is make is, is saying suggesting that I uh, oops change. No, the plus one. Yeah, everybody knows you're in Tulsa. Okay, call two one one. See if you qualify for free air conditioning window unit. Man, 
Okay, so I'm looking at this post from June 12th. I would, here's something that I would add to or change about this uh, caption. And, you know, one of the hardest things to do is find captions that are engaging and get people to um, respond to a post or share your post. And I'll talk about why one, some of those are important. I think I did in the session that you guys uh, attended with me uh, in 2020, but I'll go through it with this as well. So this could be, you know, hey, do you have a broken window unit? Is your air conditioner out? Are you struggling? You know, ask a question, get people to look at this and say, hey, this is me. Or do you know someone who is, you know, whose home or, I don't know if this is for office as well, but, you know, do you know someone who is in desperate need of air conditioning? Like ask a question like conversationally so that then people can comment or share and um, like the post so that they can engage with them. So that's the important thing for um, your post is to increase the engagement and conversations, comments, and shares. So let's talk about the uh, gold, silver, platinum rules for Facebook posts. A like on Facebook doesn't really mean a whole lot, right? It doesn't do much. It, a lot of people who are liking your posts, they're just there doing it to support you. And that's great too. But from a... Um, conversion, from a getting customers, from a marketing standpoint, the two more important uh, pieces of engagement on a Facebook post is your comment. So this, if this was gold, this would be the, I mean, if this was silver, this would be the gold. You want people engaging in your post because the algorithm from Facebook says the more people who engage with your post, commenting and sharing, the more they will show other people or people like that person you know, without you having to pay any money. And we'll talk about that in a second. And then the share is the golden goose, the platinum level. That's the, that's the goal that you want to go after is having somebody share your post on their page or on their, uh, in their group or on their profile. You want to uh, encourage people to talk about you in this way. So thinking about your content, uh, why would somebody share your content? Uh, okay, so let's go to videos. I'm kind of jumping around, sorry, that's just how my brain works. Um, okay, videos. Videos are extremely important to Facebook and Facebook algorithms, right? Uh, people's attention spans are short. People are very vis visual folks. They want to see what the goodness is and, and before they uh, engage with it or share it. So having multiple videos, right? This was your, um... oh, I like it. So um, yeah, I would just do more videos and maybe even short. And I'm going to show you some examples uh, of where you can get some of the video content, but you can also um, just add more video to your posts and um, to your strategy for social. All right, let's go down. We got that. We got that. Photos, I'm going to go, I'm going to come back to uh, as we go along. Let's look at this June 9th post. Uh, uh -huh. So while this is a great post and, and uh, image, I still think you want a caption here and you also want a call to action, right? I, I see the call to action is on the post, but you absolutely want to add some text, right? Yeah, so this should be your caption in your post. Right? Your comment should be your caption. I, I know that some people are like, hey, you know, add your, um, add something to the first comment. And, you know, we do some of that on Instagram. But on Facebook, I would just say this would have been a really good uh, 
caption for this particular post. And I know you are doing captions because I see your stuff on uh, LinkedIn as well. So very good. But yeah, I would just add that to the caption. Okay, so here's, <laughs> I love this graphic and I think it's fun, but you also want to have people like, you know, when was the last time you were someplace and the air conditioner was broken? Or you know how it feels when you go somewhere and the AC is broken. Don't do this to your friend. Like add something to this caption so that people can relate and comment, right? When was the last time you were in a, that you stayed long enough in a place that didn't have AC? Like a ask a question that people can answer and respond to. But also there, be careful because if you say, hey, share or comment, comment on the last time Facebook sees those as like red flags because they don't want us asking people to comment, share or like, but they want people to comment, share and like. So there's that fine line between uh, tell us in the comments and when was the last time you had a broken AC and do you remember back in those days, right? So just a little bit more um, conversational and ask questions would be great. Oh yeah, so uh, you created the page November 7th, uh, 2019. So of course the cover photo and the profile photo were uploaded in December. And, uh, but yeah, definitely come up with a way to um, change those photos, okay? Uh, da -da -da -da. This is a great photo. Um, this would have been a good gr video too. So as you're taking snapshots photos, uh, a quick little video of this interaction or the uh, helper, the HVAC helper doing the thing, this would have been great. But you got three shares because it's real, it's people, um, great caption. I, you know, maybe a little shorter caption for some of them and just kind of test the longer, shorter captions. Love that it's, you know, call us and not just link to the website or email because you obviously want to be called. Perfect. It's really good. And so you got more shares because it was holiday. You can also do like National HVAC Day. There's things, uh, National Pet Day. And I know you do some of those things. Um, mm -hmm. Oops, I don't know. Oh, okay, so you did a contest. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Man, I, I really like this information and I know I've, I've, I'm pretty sure I've talked to you guys about maybe even going live or even shoot a couple of videos of the, t you know, 10 to 20 most frequently asked questions and, and post those as video shorts, right? So maybe the question is, uh, what are HVAC contractor requirements? Maybe it's what to look for when hiring a, a an HVAC um contractor, right? And then have um, Julius answer the question on video, and then you can post that in kind of the same vein as you did with this graphic, and then see what kind of response you get from there. So adding a little video to your photo con content. Okay. Um, other than that, I think the page looks really, really good. I know you're not getting the kind of engagement. This one had uh, several shares. Seems like the, um, the quotes and things like that get a lot of shares, but you also want to have more stuff about your business. So think about um, real photos. Notice that the photo of Julius and the, the helper got more engagement. Julius doing the work got more shares than just the graphic representation. So think about um, using real photos and then describing what is happening in the caption with, um, and then have the phone number or, or um, you know, hit the message button up above 
to talk to us about your needs or something like that, right? So think about real photos uh, in, in your post as opposed to photos with text, kind of mix it up a little bit more, right? Okay, um, I wanted to show you, I did a search, where is it? Oh, I tried to have this open, but here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna search for HVAC. Near me, well, I can't spell. Okay, so uh, here we go. Okay, HVAC company near me. Okay, so in all the other ones, you guys were coming up first. So maybe it's because I'm already on your page that you aren't coming up first. But you you want to do this a couple times, right? Search on Facebook for. Um, Oh, I know what it was because I put heating and air. I didn't put HVAC. There we go. Services near me. But you also want to do HVAC, right? Because that might be something that um, people are searching. But I like the fact that you guys come up in the search for um, heating and air services near me. You also here can look at who the other um, businesses are. I'm sure you already know who your local competition is but looking at like how many people follow their page and then looking at what they're doing uh, from an engagement uh, standpoint, how many people follow them. Um, there was one that I saw that had, um, what was it? A couple thousand uh, followers. But then you want to go to their page and just kind of see what uh, what they're posting, how their engagement is. Um, if, you know, if you have friends or know of people who are, who like their page and then kind of see what kind of things that they are uh, posting. So I'm going to go also now and take that off HVAC services. Facebook is still going to do uh, the near, the near me, but then also show me other pages. And I think I was on the air code because they're you know on tv commercials and all kinds of things uh, but you can see even though they have more um followers they're posting a lot of similar things that you do but look how much the photo stands out as opposed to the text and uh, the graphics so you can use sites like dreamstime.com or shutterstock to find really good stock photos, or you can take a photo yourself. So um, I, I really like this question because then that points the question to the person, is your HVAC system the right size for your home? But what I would do then is add, is your HVAC? And I don't know that I would call it HVAC because I, I don't call it an HVAC at my house. I call it my air conditioner. <laughs> right? The AC unit or whatever, you know, normal terms. So start to use the, you know, terms that your customer would use when talking about their air conditioner. But I do like that, the, the picture and the fact that the, um, the caption is here and the question is there for people to answer. They didn't get a lot of engagement, but um, I do like the idea of that post. So you can see you're not alone in um, how you're getting r responses and, um, and engagement versus, you know, the big guy or, or you know, uh, some other, other co competitor here locally. But uh, here's a post that um, got a lot of engagement uh, comparative to some of their other things for comments, for shares, um, a little over um, 100 likes but they use just kind of a photo of an individual and maybe you know having trouble or being really hot. So some of those kind of stock photos, think about that. And then maybe once you're just overloaded, then you can get maybe hire a professional photographer to take some photos, but you can usually find um, 
really good stock photos, even better than this, on sites like Dreams Time and Shutterstock. Uh, and there are also um, pages that I'll share that have um, more diverse families, you know, um, people of color, Native American. Um, so you can find if you you know want to specify the photos that you use, you can you can utilize some of those, and I'll put those I'll put some of those links down in the comments, but. Uh, So yeah, this one, you know, especially the hiring one, of course, if you're looking for somebody, um, this is a great photo for that because it's you know, a real photo, real people, and then um, hiring. So it got 19 shares. That's pretty huge that they got that kind of response from a Facebook post that they didn't have to do an ad. I think they did do an ad for their hiring post, but uh, in general, uh, that was a pretty good engagement post. It looks it doesn't look like they're doing much doing too many ads, but I'll show you how you can find that out and then um, look at maybe uh, replicating or doing something similar to it. So the other thing that I wanted to do was look at some of the manufacturers of heating and air that you might even be using or that you can repair. Go to their pages. So this is the Goodman Manufacturing um, and they have some interesting engagement, some shares, but you can go through and look at um, some of the, their more popular posts and start to, to um, either emulate those or even share the same, especially if these, this is a product that you also work on. You can you know, change the caption around to make it seem, you know, to make it more specific to your business. But they're going to have some really good um, content right <laughs> your house inside. I love this one it didn't get a lot of uh, it didn't get a lot of engagement but it really is a good video and if you sell or service uh, this kind of pro uh, product this would be a really good place to find some content right share from them download their photos because it's got their branding on it they they're not going to care because um, you sharing that they are that you are a service provider uh, of theirs, it can be a good thing. So there's that one. Um, this was a good, their Father's Day post. It was really cool. Um, they do, and some of the other ones that we'll look at here in a second, do a really good job of um, some how-to. Did you knows? Like, did you know how, do you know how your air conditioner works? Or do you know how, um, what happens to your heating system when the the temperature changes drastically or something like that so um this is train uh, this is their commercial one but um you can even if you service this particular product you can go to the site or some that you do service right so go to their pages and see what kind of content they're sharing and if it's something that you also service or that you can, that you use, then absolutely um, share and share alike, right? You can even just share this post from their page if it's something that is associated with what you do or if it's something that you also service. One of the better ones, I think, was uh, the carry because they're, I guess, more, my goodness, Cheryl, uh, <laughs> more for, um, residential right this was the post like how, how an air conditioner works i thought this was really good and you can see there's four comments 41 shares you can download this graphic and just tag them or you can just share um this the link because they actually have a blog post it seems like that has even more of this detail on it but um this was one of their more popular posts with four comments and 41 shares and we all know the algorithm that that's a good, that's a good thing in the in these algorithm streets that they have 41 shares 36 shares yeah so if this is a product that you work on this is a video that you can use and then just let them know that you um service carrier units right they've already created the the content go ahead and share it or if you don't work on this one 
create a slideshow of your very own with these colors, right? You know, the vibrant uh, colors. Okay. International Women in Engineering Day. That's something that uh, you can celebrate as well. I like the turn to the experts. If you're one of their um, tech people or on their website, this you could just share this directly or you can create something similar to this. They do some history and storytelling, which I think is great um, to let people know about this history of Carrier. Built on Willis Carrier's invention of modern air conditioning in 1902. Okay. So my point is, take a look at these other, uh, the manufacturers of the products that you serve uh, or that you service look at some of the local ones and try to maybe emulate or create your own versions of those. Uh, but definitely look at um, some, some of the products that the units that you service, or even if it's older units that you service, go back and find those old commercials or old uh, ads. You know, our unit is, you know, 50 years old in our house. I bet you there's a fun, or a funny classic ad that you can Google for that unit uh, and then post it for that furnace and then post it, hey, you know, we, we ran into this one, it was built in 19 whatever, whatever. That would be a really good story to tell that um, these are some of the units that you, you service and are still working order and that you can bring them back to life. Uh, you know, old girl still has a little life left to her and you could probably find some old ads or something to, to create some really fun um, stories, but also to let people know that you work on these older units as well as some of the newer ones and what you, um, you know, your call to action, right? So uh, let's see, I did the train one. I'm back on you. Okay, so Let's look at um, air code just as an example, because I have them open still. Um, but what you want to do if you are looking at, let's say your competition or somebody else locally is doing a really good job of getting uh, customers or you feel like you're losing uh, customers to, to your competition and you're thinking about ads. I know this isn't really about ads, but what you can do is go to page transparency and go see all, and then scroll down to where you see, it says this page is not currently running ads and that's okay. But if they are running ads and, or you see one of the, your competitors ads in your Facebook feed, just go to their page and click on this page transparency. And then you can go to ad library you don't have to be an admin on their page. You can see all the ads that they're running because that's part of Facebook's um, transparency efforts. And so you can see if they're running ads, uh, when they started running ads, what the ad details are. So this is one that they uh, ran in 2018. I thought that was a, a, another one. Uh, but you can see this ad is um, inactive. But then you can go to see ad details and it'll show you like how many impressions, uh, how much they spent, you know, who the ad was shown to and even more detail, right? So I don't manage this page, but Facebook allows you to see this kind of information from about your competitors ads if they're running. So little pro tip there. Uh, if you're, you know, even if you don't run the ad and don't pay for it, maybe um, have a similar message as one of your competitors at the same time so that you, you're you at least in the same conversation um, with your competitor, right? Or even with a big box brand or somebody from, you know, another city or state. If they're doing something you like, kind of dig in a little bit and see, um, see if you can get more detail about it. All right. I think this video is long enough. So I'm gonna stop there, but I will add some links to 
the photo uh, places where you can get stock photos. Uh, I will also add in the comments below a link to uh, where you can find the actual sizes of um, the cover photo, the Facebook photo. I'm sure you've seen that. I think we probably covered it in one or two of our uh, Facebook sessions, but you want to make sure you have uh, the ad. If you go to Shutterstock, uh, let's see if I can get to it real quick. Sorry. I know. I know I said I was going to leave it in the comment, but I'm going to do it now. So let's find a air conditioner. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna. I have a package with them. So, um, all right. Here we go. Here's one. It's pretty generic. And so, uh, I. You can purchase this. I think individually. I actually have a a purchase a a package that I pay so much a month for. Um, I think I got the year the annual one, but it's great because. I have multiple clients that have uh, email and, you know, we need photos that we don't already have. But the good thing about Shutterstock, my point, is you can go to edit this image before you download it to go to any of your social. You can find Fourth of July, Holiday, Memorial Day, uh, Mother's Day, Father's Day. But look, when you go to edit, you can go right here to you know, Facebook cover and boom, you can start your editing here. Or you can just download it and it's already the Facebook cover size. And then you can take it over to Canva or wherever else. But you can also uh, add text to this, add your phone number to this, add the logo right here in Shutterstock. And then just download it and it's already sized perfectly for Facebook cover. Right? And you, can do, you saw that was like email, Instagram, all those different sizes that you can do. So... Um, Highly, highly, highly recommend uh, that you use some actual uh, photos, a little bit more actual photos uh, in your posts. But very good job on, on Facebook. I, I don't really have any like things that really stand out other than I want more information and I want you to uh, think about changing your cover photo um, more often. Um, oh, there was one more thing. Sorry about that. So I gave you a list of like, different pages to follow and how to get your competitors and see what they're doing. There is a way that you can um, keep an eye on your competitors or your favorite pages that you like. It doesn't even have to be somebody in the same industry. It could be somebody you love their page, even somebody a page that you like in their content, you can always kind of keep up with what they're doing. So if you go to your page, so this is my page, uh, one of my business pages. And so on the side here, move me out of the way, there you'll see an insights button. When you click on insights, I'm gonna go back because people are gonna go, how did you get there? Okay, so here's the Social Media Tulsa page. We're gonna scroll down to insights. Oh, get out of the way. There we go. And when you get to the insights, you're going to see um, all of your uh, data that's that's easily accessible to you: page reach, views, um, all that good stuff. Times of day. You can find out when your followers are online. Um, you can see your most recent post and their uh, interactions. You'll see ad, some ad level there. Um, and then you can add pages that you wanna watch. So add a page. So pick a page of your competitor or somebody that you like, and then you can start to see their, their most popular posts, um, their most engaged posts. You can look at like the things that they're doing that then got them more likes and comments and shares, right? And so you can look at that really easily all in one place. So you're not having to go around looking at those things um, one at a time, right? So you can look at your most engaging posts. 
and then you can kind of keep an eye on what's happening with your favorite pages and competitors, right? Okay, that's all I have <laughs> for you. I know this is a long video, but um, I will try to get a little bit better in and keep these a little bit shorter. But hopefully you got some good information out of that. And with that, I will say, you know, feel free to ask uh, questions in the comments or um, uh, shoot me an email, Cheryl at smtulsa.com, and I will answer that for you. Thank you so much.